Hi there, in this lesson we are going to see how to open external links from the app. In this example, we want to open the WhatsApp to initiate a conversation to the selected contacts. But before doing that, let's copy this button to a separate screen so we can start exploring how to do that. So I'm going to select the button we just created in the previous lesson, press Ctrl C, and then going to a different screen in this case i'm using screen 4 that's empty let me just delete everything here it was a screen from a previous example and i'm going to paste here ctrl v so the button just appears in here right how can we open the whatsapp from this button i was searching through the documentation and i saw this one in the help center of the whatsapp website how to click to chat and here we have an example so basically we need to pass this url hps wa.me and then the phone number well let's copy this one and paste in the button code okay here i have the button and we have the on select function of this button and i'm going to paste in here between double quotes let me just create a fake number here and then let's see what happens if i play the app and click nothing happens because we just put the a string here it doesn't mean anything in order to open this link we need to use the launch function so we just will put let me zoom in a little bit to make it easier to see let me call the function called launch open the parentheses, go to the end of the string and close the parentheses. This will make the app open this URL to a new tab. So let's see, I'm going to play. Let's click on the button. And once I click, it opens to a new tab, opening the WhatsApp link, trying to talk, to have a chat conversation with the number that I passed in the code. I can continue here on the browser or I can open on my WhatsApp software installed on my computer. In this case, I don't have it. So we could continue to chat here if WhatsApp was open on my browser. If it's in the mobile phone, then it will open the WhatsApp app and you can send the message. So if you are using this app on the phone, it will also work. Given that, now we are going to see the next step that's passing a message text as a default to, the, to this initial conversation. We see you in the next video where we are going to learn to pass this text parameter and encode this text so we get the correct text. See you in the next lesson.